Hi guys, back with week six. Um, week six has been the weirdest week actually, um, bad and good. So to start off with, um, I weighed 212.2 at the end of week five, and now I weigh 214.4 apparently, so I gained 2.2 pounds. Uh, this week lost zero and gained 2.4 uh, 2.2 pounds um, And you know, they're not worried and they told me not to like, you know panic about the looking at the scale and stuff Which of course it's hard to ignore when you're being weighed three times a week um, but uh, I'm burning very high. So they're thinking I'm retaining water um, and they're like, oh, do you have your period? Because women, you start to retain water a week before and you can get gain three to five pounds and all of a sudden it'll drop off. Um, I'm 10 days away from it, so something else is going on. Um, I might be having too much salt um, here and there. Um, they're going to about to look you know, look into it. Um, but I'm burning um, ketones stronger than ever before. I mean, I know that doesn't really matter, but like is high, you know, quite high. Um, I'm almost at the highest level now. So they're not worried because I'm burning fat. So eventually that those two pounds, you know, they could drop off in an hour, they can drop off in two days. Um, we don't really know. So, you know, I think I kind of punished myself from that, you know, that crazy move and not eating, not drinking any water, not flushing my body, not getting my, what my body's used to for the last five weeks of drinking lots of water, eating regularly, consistent meals. I think now I'm paying the price in week six. You know, when I got back to normal, my body just kind of like in shock. I didn't know what to do since I changed my routine for five days. So that's a possibility. But so week six has been sad and okay I mean it's you know I'm still strict and everything's fine but um, I just didn't lose any weight so of course I'm you know kind of down a little bit but um, you know I have lost in total now 33 pounds 33 pounds week six so um, I'm not that up you know I'm not upset like oh god you know but um, they have assured me that it's not my fault because I am being strict I have not cheated my ketones are showing really good so I know I shouldn't panic or anything so I'm like okay so I'm gonna let this one go and then we're gonna look further into it as of Monday um, another concern that I had which I have a doctor's appointment today which is Thursday um, I will be talking to them about because all of a sudden week six I started to get hungry again um, no cravings for like anything really in particular like maybe starch like probably the most like I wanted potato chips like really badly um, but nothing else but just hungry like I'd eat eat my breakfast and I'd be hungry 10 minutes later uh, same thing with any other meal I'm like oh my god what am I gonna do here because I wasn't hungry for the last you know five weeks but I've been really hungry this week and um, so I have to ask them see what's going on there they think that my body basically because I've lost so much weight so quickly you know, more so than other people because, you know, 30 pounds in the month, that's quite a bit, um, that my body just doesn't know what to do. That's why it's starting to retain water because it's trying to hold on to something. So I've got to drink lots of water, flush it out, and see, I don't know if this ever happened to anyone else. I mean, the period thing, that's normal. Like if, you you know, women get bloated and, you know, whatever, that's normal and then it goes away. Um, but this is a little bit different. So they're, you know, kind of just watching me a little bit, but they told me not to worry, just strictly on the ketones. So, um, so that's kind of what's been going on this week. I'm going to ask them, maybe they're going to give me more potassium. I have no idea. But next week I'm going to update you on what they've done or if they've given me anything more to take if I'm because I'm so hungry or if they've taken anything away from me because of my retaining water or salt or, or my breads or whatever. They, we'll see what they, uh, what they do. Um, but at this point, that has been week six. Uh, also... Um, another little weird thing is I uh, just noticed now that my skin is super soft, which you're like, oh, that's awesome. It is and it isn't because my skin is so soft now that it tears and it, like I, I was sitting on my knees for a few minutes and I already got like a little scab from it just sitting on the carpet for a few minutes on my knees. And also my thighs are not rubbing in my pants, but they're rubbing against the material on my pants. And I actually got like a baby's like diaper rash kind of thing on the inner thigh, inner thighs like this, this, um, this long, not really the inner thighs, right above my kneecaps. And I'm just kind of, wow, because I wear hospital scrubs and I have quite soft ones. And that's what's causing this, um, this like diaper rash thing. And because my skin has become so soft and paper thin, 
Um, it's um, it must gotta be from the vitamins or the change of my diet because you know I, it feels great that your skin is soft, but also it's just kind of got weak, uh, and that's probably because I have lost so much fat and. Um, I'm getting jiggly a little bit, like I'm hanging a little, a little bit. So I've got to get like into toning, so my my skin gets the elastic, you know, goes back. Um, but that's one thing I did notice about my skin. So I don't know if anyone's feeling that their skin's getting sensitive, or even my face. If in the hot water or in the shower, if I put my face in the shower, my entire face gets red. From it looks like I've got a huge sunburn. Um, and this I never had. So, and I'm also getting a few pimples here and there, um, more than usual. So I don't know if my body again is changing because it's week six, and my body is turning. They say it's going into a different level of um, fat burning and a different. You know, it's trying to adjust again of what's going on because I've lost so much weight. So it's another adjustment like interval. So um, I'm curious to see for myself what's going to happen week, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, to hopefully my skin doesn't completely break down and and uh, you know get rashes or something everywhere. But uh, that's what's going on with me. It's a it's a little bit different. But if you have any thoughts or concerns, I mean, you obviously got to share these things with them and and I will and I have. So uh, you know, I don't know if anyone's you know experiencing anything weird like that. But you know, really pay attention to yourself because I just. I can figure out why my face is like beet red every time I get out of the shower or why my skin is so paper thin or it's super dry, especially for this season in the winter, but like super extra dry. So, um, <laughs> you know, pay attention to yourself and uh, certainly share some unique things with me if you want to because I'd like to hear it and, uh, you know, just see what other people, what's going on with other people. And uh, anyways, I hope everyone's doing fantastic. And Friday we'll do measurements, we'll do recipe things, and we'll get back to normal. And I hope everyone's doing great. Um, I know it is um, party season, December, office parties, Christmas parties, New Year's. Oh my gosh, we have so many things going, you know, not going for us this season that uh, we really got to stick tough here. And, um, you know, my biggest thing I do, I know it sounds really weird, uh, but I don't really care. I'll share it with you. I smell absolutely everything. If there's a tray of brownies, I will smell the tray. If there's a huge thing of cookies, I will smell them. And you know what? It helps um, just to think, you know, you might like kind of like salivate a little bit, but you know what? You don't really need it. Just smelling it kind of helps you trigger your mind or trick your mind a little bit. So try it. I mean, it might sound like torture to smell the things that are delicious that you can't have, but just try it. Smell it until you don't want to smell it anymore and then walk away from it and see how you feel a few minutes later if you really feel like you need to have that cookie or you need to have that brownie. Just try it out. Um, it works for me. I just trick my mind. I'm assuming my mind is going to eventually give up on that and, you know, I want to have that. But right now it's been working uh, for, you know, so far. And I know drinking is going to be tough for some people, like having, you know, that champagne glass on New Year's or whatever. But I mean, I'm sure that one drink probably wouldn't kill you if you're going to have, and my drink of choice would be vodka water with lemons um, because you could have, you know, vodka is like the one thing you can have. I know it sounds disgusting and it's not a delicious mixed drink, but if you really are desperate to have a drink with, you know, socially with other people, then I would suggest that would be it. Um, but anyways, let's touch base next Friday and um, we'll go through other things. All right. Hope everybody makes it the next couple weeks or next week just with that Christmas party thing. And uh, I will talk to you later.